So this is part two of Komodo One platform review. It, it, it's hard to uh, recommend this uh, company anymore because of what's happened in the past couple months. Um, in the past, it was free forever. The Iterian platform or Komodo, Komodo One platform. Free forever, no cost. And here's the article on Spiceworks. Komodo slash Iterian, they're the same company, is not free forever. Even though this used to be on their homepage. This used to be on, on the Iterian login page. And um, they changed to a... a uh, uh, per usage and here's the monthly bill even though I'm under the 50 uh, endpoints they still want 14 bucks from me and I'm like no one I don't consent to a change in my contract with your company and two this is a bait and switch and I'm thinking about going to the Security Exchange Commission and the Better Business Bureau and filing a, a, a complaint because this is a bait and switch. Free forever, as advertised. False advertising. Okay? Here's the web archive from uh, 2019, uh, January 2019. 100% uh, free. 100% free. 100, yeah, 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 yeah. And then they send you a bill for 14 bucks for seven endpoints. The kicker is. I complained about this on the Iterian forums about two months ago, saying I I, I don't like the fact that you uh, kind of your company bait and switched us. I signed up for the free license, and, and you're you're holding my computers hostage. And what happened? You are permanently banned by Mel He Mel Melahi. Okay. He, he's the CEO of this company. Real professional, Melahi, Mel, Mel High. Real professional. Way to censor your users. Little background about me. I have 30 years in IT. I have 20 years in endpoint protection, in Semantic and McAfee. I've used Komodo Internet Security for over, way over, 15 years, 10 years, something like that, back in version 2. And he bans me because I voiced my dislike of the bait and switch that they did. Bans me from the Iterian forums. So I cannot consciously give this company a thumbs up anymore. In 2019, the Iterian forums were hacked. So, if you if, if you have a, a an account on Iterian or Komodo One forums, you need to check your password and change it. But my problem is not not only did this person ban me for voicing my dislike of the bait and switch, they're now holding my computer's hostage. Because here's here's this this computer is named 3D CAD because I do a lot of Fusion 360 on this. Okay? It's been updated, it's fully patched, even though it says you're missing one patch, I'm not. Um, if I go into the configuration profiles and I try to like say disable hips because it's blocking everything. I can't because you require a license. I can't disable this. And this has happened. This is why I complained on the Ethereum forums. You're holding my computer hostage because I had a legitimate executable that wasn't digitally signed uh, called uh, uh, the, the snappy driver install or driver updater. And this, this was blocking it because it was not digitally signed. And they say, well, you get the basic 
well, isn't the antivirus basic? And I can't change the options on, on antivirus. What is the point of having this software or having this system if I can't manage anything? Look at licensing management. Buy a new license. Okay, okay. Well, let's, oh, seven layer active, meaning if you don't buy something, their software is useless. After your 30 day trial is up, you get this nice little uh, red banner saying, buy a new license. You can't do crap with this. And HIPS and auto containment will hold your computer hostage if you have a legitimate executable, say an open source software that isn't digitally signed, and you want to run it, and you have to come in here and literally disable this and hope that in a minute or five minutes, it doesn't re-enable. I cannot endorse this software anymore because they did a bait and switch. I love their software. I've used it for over 10 years on every end, one of my endpoints at home. When all this red banner stuff happened and they started changing their uh, business model to pay to play I uninstalled the endpoint manager on one of my laptops and uninstalled the CES, which is the Komodo endpoint security, and rebooted and tried to install CIS, which is the standalone version in uh, Komodo internet security, and it would not install. Another complaint I have about them requiring a license is updates. This computer has an old version on it of CES, Komodo Endpoint Security. 12.1.0.8041, one of these. And you try to update to the latest version of the Komodo Endpoint Security, and they hold your system hostage. Nope. You need to buy a license. Uh, 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 uh. I can click this all day and you're not going to update to this version. And back in March, before they did their, their, their bait and switch, all these computers updated to the latest and greatest uh, CES. So they're forcing you to run an old version of the client security and putting you at risk because obviously if they made a new version there's something wrong with this version and half my systems are on that version and I can't upgrade and this system has been on for days and it has not upgraded once again they're holding your endpoint hostage I mean, I have a, I, I made up a policy called maintenance mode before all this happiness happened, which disables uh, everything. And that's the only way I got around this uh, to, to run uh, the, the snappy driver installer, which is a legitimate open source project. Uh, but they hold you, hold you hostage. All this containment enabled. Hips. Enable antivirus. Why? Why would? Why? Why would you not? And what is the point of installing this software if you can't manage your freaking antivirus? So on 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 a Mac v system, uh, these rules would be defined by the server. And if an end if if an end user came in here and said, "Oh, allow all." T any any you know <laughs> in and out Let, give it to me in and out you know that kind of crap uh, in in five or ten minutes the mac v agent ascii or agent to server communication interval would refresh and this rule which gives access to everything would be revoked and wiped out and this this is because 
people take government people, DOD people, take their laptops and connect them to Starbucks. And you don't want to rule like any, any allow all on your freaking endpoint. Because there's people that sit at Starbucks and just scan for shit like that. Right? So it, 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 in, in 10 minutes or 5 minutes, whatever your uh, endpoint manager communication client interval is, will these be overwritten? Probably. I don't know. I, I haven't tried it. But if I wanted to add in a custom rule set and say, I want to allow Snappy Driver Installer to run and access memory and access the, the, the DNS uh, uh, RPC service and all that happiness, is it going to get overwritten or, or, or 10 minutes down the road, I'm just screwed again. So they're holding your computer hostage. So I cannot ethically recommend this software because... Or, or this company. I mean, uh, their, their software is great. I've used it for over 10 years, like I said. But just this bait and switch that they did. Free forever. Now you owe me two bucks per endpoint. Understand you need to make money. But this bait and switch. And then you voice your dislike of it. And you get banned by the CEO of the company for voicing your dislike after your password and shit was hacked because a security company can't keep their public facing servers updated. I do this professionally for the Department of Defense, but I'm not going to pay money, two bucks a, per endpoint, for something that when I signed up was free. I signed the agreement that said it was free. And then you do this bait and switch. That is that is the problem. And then I voice my dislike and they ban me. And then they disclose my personal information to hackers. So if any of you have a suggestion for an open source or a free management console like uh, the the Bit Defender, uh, what is that? The Bit Bit Defender Galaxy or whatever the hell it was. I don't know if that's paid or not, but uh, you know, if you if you have something you want me to review, let me know and I'll try to do it. Komodo should make a Linux based antivirus management server that you can deploy in a virtual environment like uh, like VirtualBox or Quim or uh, 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 you know Hyper-V or anything like that, that, where you can create your own endpoint manager, just like just like the Mac V EPO. You can you make your own executable with all your IPs and your settings, and then you set it up. Uh, make a Linux which which allows you to manage your endpoints from your home network. You turn it on once a week. And and it gets policy whatever, you know. Uh, and with with the McAfee e policy, if your e policy goes down, your your clients still have the same policy because it hasn't refreshed it. Every every you know, ten minutes it does an ASCII, but then every whatever it sends you know every eight hours or so it sends all the log files to the EPO utilizing a simple. Uh, Linux based server with using Nginx screw Apache Nginx is a way to go because it can it uses minimal minimal hardware minimal memory and not not a lot of exploits on Nginx N G I N X Nginx web server just a suggestion